Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse. Oh yes, it's another one of my allergy sinus days, so pardon how my voice sounds. I am here with a brilliant house store design team haul. Ah! They sent me three adorable dies, and these dies are not designed by Nicole Silhouette. They're designed by Vicky, all of them by Vicky. So first one, love is in the air. Gorgeous slimline die. Let me take it out the packaging. So this one is like your spring birthday. Eight and a half inches tall by three and a half inch wide. So this is like the American standard. Usually slimline dies from AliExpress, they come nine by four. So this one is the usual now. The Eight and a half by three and a half. Next, here are some Distress Edge. Now I have a whole series of these things. I bought my um, set from Cat Scrappiness. Then I got another set from My Creative Time. And now I have this beautiful set from Brilliant House Store. Nice Torn Edge. Largest one, roughly between four and a half and four and three quarter. Because I'm going by these edges here wide by the most this one is a hard one between six and a half and six and three quarter right there is hitting like six and three quarter smallest one two and three quarter inch tall by let's say one and a quarter inch wide super duper cute and i did make samples third one is this bunny layering polaroid oh what does she call this let me see the name. With Love Torn Edge Nesting Die. And this one is Bunny Loves You. <laughs> I guess these are like the Valentine's set. This one now, the Polaroid measures four inches tall by three and three eighths of an inch wide. It does cut as a whole piece, which is nice. Here is the bunny. So with the bunny, and let me measure the bunny's head. I want to say one and seven eighths, so almost two inches tall by, we'll call it between one and one eighth by one and a quarter inch wide. So with the bunny, what's nice about the bunny's head is that it's open. So when it's open like this, what you can do, you can cut it, you can center the face in, and I'm going to show you one with the face, with this face piece, also another one, stamped with a peachy keen face stamp yeah <laughs> and then it also comes with some bunny loves you the only thing about this the letters are separated so they're not together so you have to kind of get a i had to use a ruler to line it up to get it to you know read not all wonky unless you want to do wonky with it which you could and it also has a little pause here is the inner piece to layer for the ears and then hearts just to scatter, you can scatter these hearts, which are super cute actually, those hearts. And also I layered them up on these corners here when I cut the die. That's the die by itself, okay? Here are my two samples with the bunnies. So the first one here, I used the drop-in piece here for the bunny's face. Now because I was cutting with glitter, it did do a little impression on it. I don't know if you can see that. You see it? It did an impression. And I did layer in black cardstock and I used one of my black glaze pens to kind of dot the eyes because the eyes, they actually pierce the detail, but they don't make a hole for you to put something behind it, like black behind it. Like this now, I inlaid it because it did cut out the nose and the mouth. Hopefully I'm making sense, but super cute. Here now, see, I had to line up that somebody loves you. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot of using your ruler and lining it up because it's not sewn together. That's the only thing. I would have loved if this was like some was more sewn together so I could just cut it and line that up and line this up instead of lining up each individual letter. And here I just did kind of like a baby card. It is a top folding A2 card. Lots of pinks and corals, that kind of style. There's a bunny. I did not inlay the um, earpiece just because I wanted to keep it, you know, clean. Er. 
clean with glitter. <laughs> anyway, and here I was playing with the hearts. These are my diamond dots. You guys know I love my diamond dots. Pulled out my diamond dots just to anchor the card. Now here I made a topper. So this one is like more like a Easter card. So I just did the frame alone and I can use this as an embellishment. Layered in some orange hearts because we got the orange carrots in the back. And then I took out my Peachy Keen stamp. This Peachy Keen stamp is the Jill's favorite face stamp, okay? Cute, right? Colored it up with some Copics, just a little highlight out here with my W markers in here. Cut pink cardstock, put a little bit of R00 on it. The cheeks, R20, and right there. Now for the cheeks, the R20 comes out strong on white cardstock, so you kind of have to use your colorless blender just to dull it out a little bit. I think it turned out kind of cute. This paper here, that's the Lawn Fawn Speckled. I think it's called Speckled or Splatter. So it does have little dots on it. It's like green paper with little green paint splatters. It's super cute. I cut the hearts in different colors, but the orange spoke to me because it was like, the bunny loves carrots, which is orange. <laughs> I think like that. I know it's, it's bad. It's bad. Alrighty. These are my two examples. Because when I made this one, I didn't use the paws. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like with the paws coming out. So I decided to make another example. And I think they're both same, but different and cute. Mm-hmm. All right. Moving on. Next up, we got the Torn Edge with Love Torn Edge. In both, I use either the biggest and the second. Yeah, I think I use these two in my examples. These are my examples. And I made what I call the masculine card, which to me, with all this glitter, I'm not sure if it's super masculine, but <laughs> that was my thinking. It is on a five by seven card layer. Okay, so and then I put the torn edge on the top. This die is from my stash, the thank you. And I think it's cute. Here I put some big baubles. These are from Michael's from a long time ago. Yes, I'm into these embellishments now. I can't help it, but these are big. Well, the card is big, so, you know, I think it's cute. Thank you. And I did layers of black and white with just a hit of yellow, toned down the yellow by putting a little vellum behind my sentiment shadow. And then this one, this is my Christmas one. I did submit this for the Coffee Lovers blog hop. Here again, five by seven card base. Did the back layer, the biggest piece here in red. And then the second layer right here in this beautiful, not too shabby six by six peppermint paper pad. Yes. Then this is a cup by Elizabeth Craft. So it's in here, three by three and a half, layered up the beautiful cup set. I will put links for everything I'm showing below. This is the Anemone by Honey Bee Stamps. Uh-huh. So this is what it looks like put together with those beautiful leaves. So it's the Honey Bee Stamps Anemone layered flower, the Elizabeth Crafts cup, the Brilliant House Store background, nested dies, Pink Fresh Studio. Four companies in one. <laughs> this is their holiday, oh, sentiments. It's a whole big thing of stamps and then you cut it one time and you get a whole bunch of sentiments. Super duper cute. All right, moving on to the last one. Love, next up. Now we have the slim line. Here is my example. Cute, 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 cute. When you cut it, it does cut as one piece, so you have to kind of layer it back. As you can see here, I didn't do the um, strings. I could have, but I didn't. I thought, you know, I didn't need to show that. You can see these are balloons, and you get the texture here. What is giving you all this beauty? This is not me ink blending. I wish it was. This is a sheet of paper, actually, that comes with that ombre rainbow effect. But could I have blended? Sure. But I didn't, because this was ready to go. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I was more focusing on these layers. So it cuts the balloons, which I had layered first, but they were all flat. And then here is the die that comes into it, which I think is so cute, because this can use by itself. This balloon measures one and three quarter inch tall by one and three quarter inch wide. The cloud... There is a cloud in here, but it only is the small cloud. So for the rest of the clouds, I had to kind of cut and then fussy cut the edge just to get to layer it up. 
one and a half inch wide by three quarters of an inch. And these balloons do fit perfectly in here. All three of them are the same size. I had it done more flat, but then last night I decided why not add just a little bump of, um, layer it up just a little bit more. So what I did, cut foil and then stagger it. So what was underneath it as the balloon is now like a shadow and then I think it adds a little movement, right? Took out my white gel pen, trusty white gel pen, went ahead and did, you know, the little highlights. And then I decided to add these little sparkles. Now this is something I see crafters doing and I finally was like, I just go ahead and do it. First time I did it, it didn't look good. So I was like, ah, stop doing it. But now I'm like, just go for it. So these are the sparkles on the clouds. And it did work on this foil cardstock. And then the clouds on the clouds, I did use just to add a little bit of dimension. Copic marker, maybe B triple zero, I believe. Just went around and added some little, little um, bit of textures in here. I think it adds something to the card here again. Pink Fresh Studio, perfect sentiments. That is back in stock and I will put a link below in case you're interested in something like this. Did cut it out. This is using the stamp. I did the stamp, heat emboss with black and then it was just looking so, you know, plain compared to everything else. Took my white gel pen and started highlighting in here. I think it's kind of cute. Just to kind of you know, brighten it up just a little bit. So what do I mean? It would have looked like this. So here it is in just heat embossed in black. Here it is with me just doing a little outline with a white gel pen. So you have options when it comes to this. And what I'm using here, if you like my heat embossing, it's a combo. All to new black obsidian pigment ink and ink on three crystal clear embossing powders. Those two work together like magic. Beautiful, beautiful, clean sentiment magic. Alrighty, crafters. I hope you like all the goodness from Brilliant House Store. Check them out. And these are designed by Vicky. So these are not um, copies of anybody. This, I don't know who Vicky is. Hey, Vicky. <laughs> but she designed these dies. And so these are not copies of anybody's work, okay? They're hers. Alrighty, crafters. So until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.